there's a whole phrase of the more you learn, the less you know. And I don't think there's a better a discipline to study than wildlife or nature because there's so many facets to it. The birds are calling, the animals are moving, things, are, things have survived through the night, things are starting to wake up, things are starting to go to bed. You know, a guide role is to take guests into the uh, environment and educate them on what they see and what they feel. We want to get the best that we can get and have the best team that we can have. We are one lodge where the guides and the trackers tend to stay for a really long time. And many of our guide tracker teams have been together for many, many years, some of them for decades. John has been on the reserve well over 20 years. He was under the wing of Wilson Masi, our master tracker that, that sadly passed away recently. Wilson and I worked together for 20 years and you know, you never wanted to break that working unit because it was a living working unit together. And it's an unusual bond where two people spend six or eight hours a day together working right next to each other. <laughs> Trying to bring the, the guide apprenticeship into the industry for many years and it finally came to fruition in 2008 where I asked the Bidens, I said, look, I want to start an apprenticeship and they said, go for it. And that's, that's all it took and we did it. Juan is one of the most dedicated guides that you will ever find. He sits on the board of Fagasa, our Field Guides Association in South Africa. What Juan's aim was with this tracker and, and ranger academy was to get professional trackers and guides out into the industry. Working underneath him is, has been a phenomenal experience because he has so much knowledge uh, in all aspects of guiding and not even guiding but understanding people and understanding guests. You need to study your guests first to know what is their biggest interest. So the apprenticeship is a two-year program Royal Malawan offers. They pay for everything. And of course, you've got one of the best guiding teams in Southern Africa that is mentoring you. So there's no better place to be, as some people call it, the Harvard of the bush. I think Royal Malawan recognizes that guiding is a profession. So from that point of view, it, it's motivated me to become the best guide that I can and to see myself as a professional and grow in, in that profession. And everybody works towards that common goal to be the best guiding team in the world. The qualifications are, are important. So there's level one, there's level two, and level three as a field guide. And level three is basically the uh, professional guiding qualification. Yeah, we take that very seriously in South Africa, and uh, we take that extremely seriously at Royal Malawan. So it's intense training. You're in two years in a, in a tent, a little three by three meter tent. You know, you lie there at night, and a herd of elephant walks past. And you just know it's you and then it's just something different. You just can't learn it in a, in a classroom. It's, it's just fantastic. It's hard to describe. It's, you got to do it to experience it. People come here, it's like, a, it's like soul medicine. You know, it's the first bit you can get in touch with yourself. And that's what makes it so special. And I think if we can, if we can take guiding to another level with influencing the, the, the conservation of the environment and the planet, I think it'll be um, the big uh, change for, for us all.